All right, hi everyone. Welcome back to Steamflow, the number one channel for all things Steam. I'm your host, Selwyn, and today I want to talk to you about how I find the best deals on Steam. Now, there is a little tool, you might be aware of it, but I think some of you are not aware of it, and I just want to share with you. It's called SteamDB. So if you go to steamdb.info, you are going to find out the database of everything on Steam. That's what it says here right on the front page, and this tool is actually a lot of tools combined into one they all have different purposes and it pretty much enhances your knowledge uh, on steam steam games steam sales uh, everything that has to do with steam really so right out of the bat on the front page you're gonna see four different boxes it's gonna list the most popular games the most trending games some popular releases and some hot releases so sometimes when I'm looking to make a new video on a, on a game, uh, I come to SteamDB. That's actually, I come to SteamDB every day to check out new info. And I will see that there's actually a new game that I didn't know about that people are playing and enjoying. And this is how sometimes I pick games uh, to check on my Steam Deck for my videos. What I really wanted to show you is this button here, sales. If you go to it, it's currently going to list the Steam Winter Sale 2024. So this is going to list every game that is actually on sale. And what what you can really do here is you can really filter and narrow your search so currently we're looking at pretty much everything that's on sale 29 pages of games and i still even have some uh filters supplied so you can see my current filters i have it's set to games that have at least 50% discount, they have at least 60% rating, so I have this set to more than 500 reviews, I've hidden my own games, and I have this set to historical lows and matching lows. Now what are historical lows and matching lows? This means that it's only going to filter by games that are at the lowest price ever. So some games usually they are discounted at 50% for $9.99, but previously they have been discounted at 75%, so if you're really looking to buy a game, you can use this filter to see if it is at the current lowest price and if it's not and you're willing to wait you can check it uh, at a later uh, sale see if it has been discounted further so i think these checkboxes are really cool so if we remove that and show only historical lows this is going to show only the games that are currently lowest so they haven't been any lower than this this is the lowest price they have ever been recorded ever so if we check out this game dredge right here you can see a lot more information about the game so we are going to see some price history here and it is going to say the lowest recorded price that we've seen for this game for your chosen currency is 12.49 euros at minus 50 percent and you can see all the currencies here the steam operates at different currencies in different regions and you can check every currency here you can set your own currency i've set it to euro now when you open a game page there's ton more info you can go to charts and you can see how many players are playing it right now and uh, how many players were playing it when it first came out this is usually the all-time peak usually goes when the game first comes out or if there's a major patch major release major new content this number is going to go up uh, and this is how you can gauge if there has been any new changes to one of the games that you've previously played and you want to get back in to enjoy them again. So if we go back to sales, what is really cool is that you can really narrow this down. So we can filter by games only and then filter by system. I recommend leaving this at all because some games, for example, if you're looking to play games on Steam Deck, some of these games are going to be officially not supported on Steam Deck, but they will still run great. So if you just filter this by Steam Deck or just by Linux, you are going to limit yourself. So just leave it at all. And then you can choose specific features. If it's going to be multiplayer, single player, co-op, you can choose you can look for specific uh, genres like an MMO game, if it has achievements or not, if it has split screen. So if you wanted to find all split screen games on Steam, you can just do that. You can just filter here by split screen, apply filters, and you can you can check all the games that have split screen that are currently on sale. So let's just uh, remove that. And then if I wanted to say I, I have a budget and I don't want to spend more than three euro per game, let's just say price zero to three, and then I want to see only the only the critically acclaimed games, only the games that people really enjoy. I'm going to set this rating to over 80% rating and then I'm going to apply new filters and it should give me back only games that are really, really well enjoyed by the community that are currently discounted. And you can see the price, you can see the rating, you can see that a way out is now historically low. You can buy a way out. And this has been the lowest price it will ever be, $2.99. Great game, by the way, I do recommend it. If you have somebody to play it with, it's an amazing split-screen co-op game. Now, 
this is pretty much the sale part of SteamDB. You can use SteamDB for a lot more other things. Some I really, uh, one of the features I really enjoy is the calendar. You can check out pretty much day by day what games are coming out. So today on the 25th, there isn't much games coming out on the 26th as well. But on the 27th, we get this game called On Air. That's going to come out on 27th. If the game is any good, I am going to try and check it out on my Steam Deck. You all might see a video on my channel about it. Now pretty much the list starts to dwindle around April but this is constantly updated so as people announce more release dates for the games this list will populate with more games for example we have Assassin's Creed Shadows and Monster Hunter Wilds releasing at the end of February and you can check that here. Now something else really cool about this is that you can check some free promotions usually on the weekends starting at Friday up until Monday night Steam will have at least one or two games that are free to play the developers have set them to uh, a free weekend so you can always check out some free games during the weekend and if you enjoy them you can usually purchase them at a really big discount and finally one last thing that i really like about steam db is that you can click this and say when is the next sale so steam db will often try to get the most up-to-date information on when is the next steam sale or when is the next steam event so currently we are in the winter sale we have eight days left until 2nd of January so we still have a lot of days to check out some really big discounts or some really cool games and after that we can check that between the 20th and 27th of January we are going to have a real time strategy fest so a couple of years back Steam started doing this fest where they honor specific genres of games or they have the Steam Next Fest which is all about next games coming up you can check out a lot of demos for a lot of upcoming games so I wanted to do this as a quick video and it's probably not going to be as quick as I wanted to, but I really wanted to share this tool with you guys. I realize that most of you probably have heard about it and some of you might have not. It's a really great tool. And just before I go, there's something else. This tool also comes in the form of an extension. So if you download the SteamDB extension, you can straight go into Steam and you can get some of this information straight. Now, this only works on the website, the Steam, uh, the Steam website, but you can check out some of this information. So, for example, if I open here Assassin's Creed Mirage, uh, let me, let me uh, enter my year for the thousandth time, you can check out some information here in the actual game page. So SteamDB's lowest recorded price is $19.99 at minus 60%. This was seen last 13 days ago. This is still the same price right now. And you can also check out how many people are currently playing the game, the all time peak, how many followers it has. You can check out some stuff on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, it's just a ton of great info. And if you click this button, it's gonna take you to the SteamDB page. We can check all of that and additional details. So that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, leave me a comment if you knew about this too, or if you're just finding it out about now. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.